Hello everyone, it's Pavel here and if you're a beginner or been training for a while but still struggling to build muscles or see results, I have five tips for you today. Are you doing enough resistance training or too much cardio? We all know cardio is good for you, but too much cardio can hinder your muscle gain and shouldn't be priority when you're trying to build muscles. So your main goal should be resistance training. Manipulating the volume and intensity will determine the outcome. You want enough load that you can move with a good form for eight to 12 reps for hypertrophy or one to five reps for strength. Make sure that you pick compound movements that involve multiply joints and this should be a backbone of your program and will get the most for day back. Moves like squat, lunge, hinge, push and pull would be a great option. Just remember, resistance training is your main focus. Progressive overload, how to use it and when to apply. In order to get stronger and build muscles, you need to apply progressive overload of a period of time. There's few ways to do that. So first one is add more weight. You can simply grab heavier dumbbells, or kettlebell or put more plates on the bar every week in small increments. The second is slow down. Increasing the time your muscles under the tension, for example on eccentric phase of the exercise, will increase the damage and micro tears you do to the muscle and will trigger further growth. And the third way is do more. In some cases, it can be tricky to add more weight because you might be limited to equipment you can use or your form start going. In that case, you can increase the reps or sets you do and you still have your progressive overload every week. You've been doing resistance training for a while, applying progressive overload, but see none or very little results. In that case, you might want to check if you get enough calories in. In order to build muscles, you want to provide your body with enough calories. Sustaining so calorie surplus, approximately 10 to 15% above your maintenance level would be a good start. There is many ways and formulas to determine your BMR or basal metabolic rate or TDEE or total daily energy expenditure. One of this is Harrison Benedict formula that you can see on the screen. You can do it manually or check the link in the description box below. Once we established our BMR, we can use this figure to find our maintenance calorie level. Simply multiply your BMR by 1.2 if you don't do much of activity, if you're fairly inactive or don't train on a regular basis. If you're more active, train several times a week and generally move a fair amount of through the day, you want to multiply your BMR by 1.5. Now, once we've done that, we have our maintenance calories. So if your goal is to build muscles, I would suggest adding extra 10 to 15% of calorie surplus to a figure, and that should be enough to help you to build muscles. For example, if your maintenance calories is 2,500, adding extra 250 calories a day should be sufficient enough to help you to build muscles. Are you following the program towards your goals? If your program is way too complicated and you need full lab of scientists to understand it, I would suggest you strip it down and follow KISS protocol. Now you don't have to chase anyone around the gym. KISS is keep it simple stupid. So strip it down and keep it to the basic movements like squats, hinge, push, pull, will give you much better results than something overly too complicated which is difficult to track. So sometimes less is more. Another important part is keeping the training diary. Writing it down on the notepad or app is a great way to keep track of your workouts so you can check the weight you've been using, the rest you had and how many reps you managed to complete. Also, you will be able to look back check what is your biggest achievements or maybe things you need to change around. And the last but not least, are you sleeping enough? Sleep is crucial to our overall health. In terms of muscle growth, not getting enough sleep or recovery will mean lack of muscles. Sleep is associated with human growth hormone which is at highest when we're asleep. So try to get seven or eight hours per night. Your body needs this to recover from your workouts, repair muscles and grow. Remember, you're not growing when you're training. 
but when you are at rest and you have enough sleep and recovery so body have a chance to repair this muscle and tissue damage also sleep dictate your energy level the food choices you make the hormone balance focus and mood level so try to create and prioritize positive sleep and recovery system avoiding things like caffeine late in the evening alcohol or technology or social media in the evening can improve your sleep and creating better sleep environment like a blackout blinds will greatly improve your sleep recovery and help you on your muscle building journey if you found these tips useful or have any other questions please let me know about it in the comment section below and i will see you soon bye for now